All right, so I got the fender back from the painter, as well as a little tail fresher. I already got one light in. I'm bad about shooting, starting to shoot content when I'm supposed to. Well, this little edge didn't come out. I don't know what I want to call it, right or flawless as the rest of it did, but, and I was just rubbing my finger on it to see what it was, like could it be centered out? While I was talking to him, and I didn't say nothing, he was like, what, do you see something wrong? And I was like, I don't know if I see something wrong, it's just, this looks weird. And I don't know if you can see. And he was like, oh yeah, that, that clear didn't dry right, or whatever. So I was like, I don't know. I was like, this just looks weird right here on the edge. And he's like, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna take it back to my shop, and I'll repaint it, and you keep your money until I get you to part. And I'm like, okay, you know, whatever. I ain't tripping. I just want, I want a defender so I can put my seat on. So then he's like, I'll tell you what, since you're going to paint the bike again anyway, and I had already told him I'm going to paint this whole bike. I don't know what color I want, but I just wanted to get it rideable. I wanted everything to be somewhat matched to where I can ride the bike. But I do want to paint this another color, the whole bike. And he was like, I'll tell you what, just come get the parts, keep your money. And since you're going to paint the bike again, and he's probably going to be the one that's going to paint my bike. So he didn't charge me anything to paint these two pieces. Well, I ended up giving him $100 just to cover the cost of the material. Now, he said he paid $120 for some clear, which that seems kind of expensive for clear, but I don't know. I have no clue. But just to show you guys that, hey, I do got these pieces. Um, I'm going to charge my GoPro up. And if the GoPro charges, I'll do the time lapse of how much I get done tonight. So I'm going to put the other light in and then mount this on the fender, this on the fender. And uh, he also gave me some advice because I was asking him about this piece. All oh, these are my lights. So this piece goes, it glues to the bottom of the fender. And he was like, man, if you ever get airbags or whatever, be careful about this piece because your tire can go all the way up to the fender and it'll rub. He's like, what he did was he routed it around to the side with his other lights. And um, he said he drilled a hole in the side of the fender and pushed it through. So I don't know, I might do that. I mean, that does sound a whole lot safer than having this up because I was like, yeah, I was going to get a razor blade and get all this old double-sided 3M off. But it does seem a lot safer if I were to, you know, route this along this bend like the tail lights are and then just come in the fender right here. So that's probably what I'm going to do with this instead of having the, the weather stripping or whatever up under it. But yeah, about to get started.
All right, so at this point, I'm still working on the license plate light bracket and the license plate bracket. Um, I've already gotten the tail lights mounted. And um, after that, I'm going to go ahead and mount the fender on the bike. So not really much to talk about. I'll replay the track and let you continue to watch. Hey, if you haven't yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button for your boy. Yeah. So I took the fender back off to, this is the um, license plate light. And normally they have a thick rubber, I don't know what you want to call it, like a rubber. Oh, maybe I can swing over here and do the piece because I cut it off. So this thick rubber weather stripping I guess you want to call it and what happens is you know it's on here and this is taller than this bolt when it's stuck on here so being that my bike is on airbags if for every reason a bag busts or I forget to lift it up or whatever and if this if the tire is touching this it's going to shred it up so I got some weatherproof Gorilla Tape and put this, tape this, the, uh, tape the license plate light to the fender. And now this is below the bolt. So if the tire touches anything, it's going to touch this bolt. Um, and not the wire. So, I was going to route it around and then drill a hole, but... I didn't feel like drilling a hole in, in the middle and then, I don't know, it was just funny. This this, this is easy. This is probably this. So, Gorilla Tape, I would show it to you, but it's down there. The black, all weatherproof Gorilla Tape. And, uh, I'm make sure I got it down, you know. And it's going to be quite a while, at least a week, probably, before I can ride this bike. Because... I just ordered the uh, glove box covers and I'm not about to put that fairing back on knowing I got to take it off to put the glove box covers on. So 
I'm about to put the fender back on. I already got my wires for my brake lights. Oh, shoot. They're right here. So I gotta reroute, not reroute them, but rerun them to where they're on the side of the, of this frame coming out right here, tucking under here, and I'm gonna zip tie them and then plug them straight into the lights. So, and I'm gonna zip tie them all up right here, so it should never rub against the tire or anything. Plus it's a really tight stretch, it's not tight, but it's not much slack, so I couldn't imagine it could ever touch the tire. But yeah, I'll show it to you when I'm finished. All right, so I got my lights on. I got the license plate light working. Make sure I got my left and right. Here's the left blinker. It's like, oh, it's and my right blinker. So everything is working the way it should. All right, so now I gotta tighten everything back up. Um, you could do screws out the floor before I mess around and step on them. Or, um, these other lights, these are the lights that came with that fender. And for some reason, they come on, but they don't work. Like, neither one of the flickers. No, I need to check, see if my brake light works. Okay. I don't fucked up. My brakes don't work. My back brakes, nor do my hand brakes work. Got a little bit of a problem. Houston, we got a problem. I'll be back. 